Most objects in Adam's view can be measured by simply right-clicking on them, like so. If I click on this part and specify measure, you can see some characteristics that can be measured for this particular part. You can use this to measure quantities such as displacements, velocities, forces, and so on. When you right-click on a joint, similarly, you can specify measure, and you're presented with the options for a joint, such as force and torque, or the kinematics. If you specify a component such as force, or characteristic such as force, you next need to specify the component that you're interested in, either x, y, z, or magnitude. So I'll specify in this example that I want the y component of force. Next, you have to specify a from at specification. This relates to either the point of interest or the point of application. So for forces, this is specifying the marker from which to measure the reaction. For kinematic measures, such as displacement, velocity, and acceleration, this is specifying the marker at which the displacement, velocity, or acceleration is measured. Finally, you can also represent the coordinates in some coordinate system other than ground by using this field down here. If I make a simple example for the force, I say force in the Y from the cam, and I hit OK. And then I go back and repeat this measurement, but this time around I specify the force in the Y from the ground, and I just specify the, um, the from marker as the ground. What I've now done is I've done, I've computed this reaction um, as seen by one marker and then by the other marker. So if I run this simulation really quickly, you can see that the forces are basically the same. They should be equal and opposite. These are the forces that are developed in the Y direction, the global Y direction, in this revolute joint down here. One profile is on the cam part, the other one is on the ground. As expected, the reaction forces are equal and opposite. So, using this methodology, you can right-click on pretty much anything you want in your model and look for the measure option. And when you are specified, when you're presented with the measure dialog, you then go and specify which characteristic you want and any further um, aspects of that measure. So that's how you use object measurements in Adam's view.